My name is Paul Arakelian. I'm a licensed insurance agent in the state of California, in Nevada, and in New Jersey. I'm also licensed for securities. I head a company called California General Insurance and Financial Services. Now, another problem I see people coming with most of the time, fortunately, there isn't too many companies or too many company agents selling these products this way, is joint policies, husband and wife in the same policy. Now, when you're talking about husband and wife being in the same policy, don't See, uh, in, in our country, we're so used to having packages. You know, you don't just buy a burger, you buy the fries and the Coke, you know, and, and the whole thing makes sense, but by itself, you know, it probably is not as good. So we're, we have that mindset that we buy a package. Husband and wife work together in the same policy and we're saving, saving money on this thing, maybe about 20, 30% or so. But we don't understand one thing here very clearly. We need to, to read this. Uh, and, and when you do read the policy, you obviously learn this thing it says in your policies. The primary insured is one person, and that may be the wife or the husband, and they are the policy. They are the policy. Now, the second insured can be called other insured in some policies or spouse term insurance riders. Other insured riders inside the policies are a rider that depend on the initial policy or the main insured to be around or the policy to be around for them to write on that policy, to be a writer in that policy. So if the first person were to pass, you know, the, the primary insured, and you know, it's, we have no choice. I mean, it's, it's whoever goes, you know, first, we, we have no choice. So the fir if the first insured passes, there is 30 day period that the rider may be exchanged for a new standalone policy. Now, I understand that after a, a loss, especially if it's years of marriage, the first 30 days is going to be uh, not the most uh, you know, logical time. There's so much emotions and, and, and feelings involved. So it's probably going to be difficult to remember to, to write a letter to the company and say, please exchange my rider for a standalone policy. But if it was even if you did that if you wrote that letter the policy date is going to be the date that you basically applied for the exchange meaning your age is going to be a lot higher so the premiums at that age are going to be a lot higher premiums a lot of people don't realize this they just say, oh we have a, a policy together me and my husband it, you know my, my husband's a writer in the policy or my wife's a writer in the policy it makes no difference if, if you, if the first insured dies, know that for sure, go read your policies, go read the spouse term insurance writer sections, and you will see that what I'm saying, it may be different verbiage inside your policy because I'm not naming any insurance companies. I don't have to. It's, it's a provision, you know. Uh, so the, the words may be a little different, uh, and I'm not reading out of anything. Um, you know, this is just based on my experience. So you may read your own policies at your own leisure and try to find out what it really does for you. And then consult with the company, the carrier that's selling the product. Call them and ask them, hey, this is what it says inside my policy. It's kind of concerning me. Uh, so is it, you know, what does it really mean? What does it translate to in, in our language? So if my husband passes, I have 30 days to do this. If I don't do it in 30 days, then I lose my life insurance policy. Is that what you're saying? Call them and ask them. And you know, make your decisions based on really intelligently understanding you know, what your policy provides for you.